guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. Happy Wednesday. I have something very, very special to share with you guys today. I've already posted this over on my Facebook page and on Instagram because I couldn't wait. I received it in the mail yesterday actually, but I didn't get home yesterday until very late. Um, so I didn't realize I got it until today. And um, I was super, super excited. I knew it was coming, so I want you to know that. It wasn't a surprise, I already knew I had won this item. So let me just go into a little bit of detail. Um, about a month ago, if that, a few weeks ago, I would say, um, I entered a, I, 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 was in, I was in a giveaway. The reason I was in a giveaway was because I, had watched one of my favorite youtubers um i'm a cool mom i'm sure you guys have seen her her name is jen um i want i keep wanting to call her janine and her name is not janine her name is jessica but for the longest time i thought her name was janine i don't know why uh, but i was watching her youtube videos as i often did and i love watching her live videos i love them i'm always so bummed when i miss them she's one of those people I could watch forever forever okay um, another person uh, just to throw it out there another person that's like that I just love to watch I could watch her for hours um, is Aunt Beck Aunt, Aunt Beck um, here on YouTube I could watch her forever as well I just something about their voices and the way they carry themselves I just love them so um, I was watching I think a live it was like a call for action. I call it call for action instead of call for help, but it was like a call for action. She had posted a video for a friend whose pet, I believe it was a dog, was in need of surgery and help and wasn't doing well. And of course you guys know, I am 100% into helping wherever I can. So I did what I could. I sent a little bit. That entered me in a giveaway. Now, normally, I would tell the, the person, um, if I'm doing something like this, I would tell them I don't want the prize to please give it to someone else. And I always do that because I feel like there are so many people out there that maybe can't afford what that prize is, that maybe would win it, and I would be taking it away from them if I won it. Guys, hold on one second. I just realized that my paint bucket water buckets we're about to spill over and that would not be good considering what's on the table right now okay I feel much better now less panicked okay so I did not do that this time I did not make that comment I didn't send the private message like I normally do and in my history on YouTube I've only accepted a prize a few times and both times I felt extremely guilty afterwards you know I just felt like I was taking something away from someone else and this time I wanted the prize I, I wanted I was hoping it was her prize that she had she had quite a few prizes on there I was really hoping I would win it and for a shot to win this I was you know willing to you know leave my name in there I would have given the money either way that's just a given and I did. I won. I was so shocked. I am so in love with her work. So in love with her work. And so envious to try to do this. I've been talking to her back and forth about this a little bit on different social medias because I'm so intrigued to try to do this on my own. Totally scares me. They are. It's such an expensive startup. That's the other thing. Um, well, let me just tell you what it is. It is a junk journal. Never had one before. I just kind of make my journals out of little, um, you know, multimedia, uh, mixed media books that I buy on sale at Michael's or whatever. I don't even really decorate the outside that much. Maybe I'll paint something on there, but that's about it. But I've never had an actual handmade or have I ever made a handmade journal or junk journal or traveler's journal or any of the above. And she does them all. And I'm crazy about her work. So I won one. So she gave me the option of picking a style or picking a color theme and all of those things. And I told her, I just wanted to be surprised. I just wanted her to pick it and do it. And I would love it no matter what. Guys, can I just tell you, I am more than in love. 
she got me spot on. She got me so good. How many, I mean, I'm just, just say, let me just say there. So let me tell you, because I'm going to do a little review on it. I don't want to just say, hey, I won this because this is, this is so worthy of a talk about. It's so worthy of me saying, if you've ever thought about maybe purchasing her kits, because that's what I've been talking to her back and forth about is I really thought I would just purchase one of her kits or one of her larger kits so that I would have everything I needed, like already have the sewing and the book done because all of that I'll be very honest, intimidates me to pieces to do all that and then to decorate it and then to start doing the journal. Well, yeah, but I was I was going to go there and I still may go there. I'm, it's still on my mind. So let me show you the book and then I'll show you all the extras that she sent in there with it. First of all, this washi tape was surrounding the name on the envelope. How cute is that? I tried to save it. I think I can still use a few of the pieces, but... Some of the paper was coming off on it, but is that not fantastic? I love it, love it, love it. So this is just the extras, all of this. This is my very own first junk journal. Ta-da! Let me turn it this way so you can see it. Is it not gorgeous? Please notice the peach and taupe. Love, I love, love, love the color peach and turquoise. Those are my two favorite all-time colors, and I just love the color peach, and this is peach. It's soft, it's girly, it's anything I could have hoped for for a first journal. I mean, look at that. The corners are done. It's been hand-stitched. It has a little, a little bobble, a little thing on the side. Um, I know that she does these big tassels so I'm gonna figure out how to do that or maybe I'll just purchase them from her because I think those are awfully pretty too has a little fairy and a little crystal on it that's peach it's just beautiful okay so the very first part of the book has a a little tag on it with a little flower lace so pretty so so pretty so so pretty and then it's opened with the seam binding I think this is seam binding you guys let me know. It feels silky. Might be seam binding, but again, in a very nice neutral color. And it's a hard book. Hear the knock knock? It's hard. And look at it, guys. Ah! Now, this is what I think she calls a. Oh, oh my gosh. What does she call it? A semi and almost done book. So, in other words, well, I think it's done, though. I think it's really done. But there's so many extras that go with it. So, it's got a pocket with lace, all hand-sewn. Look at that. Not hand-sewn, machine-sewn. It's got a little library card. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It has a date on it. It's got the name. Oh, by the way, guys, she has, I love the fact that it says Handmade with Love. Um, she has got an Etsy shop, but I will have all that booked. I'll have all that in the in the below section down there. So I love that. I absolutely love that. Didn't even know those existed outside the real world anymore. And love, look at the colors of the paper. It's just gorgeous. So this is also a pocket. Again, sewn stitched all the way around the edges and then there's a piece of note paper and then this paper is also sewn this is double stitched right here on this side and it says do what be lovely do what you love stay fabulous look at that so this is like a sleeve instead of a pocket it goes straight through it's like a little sleeve and then a little section and look at this, love, 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 love. I'm just gonna do an entire flip through. I love the corner. I'm telling you, I love this paper. I don't know, I'm not even sure how she knew. Well, I think I know, because I'm always saying, oh, and the peach, when I talk about cardstock, if it has peach in it. Because turquoise is my favorite all-time color. It's my favorite crafty color. But my favorite color is wood grains and peaches. I love that combination all together. And I do use a lot of wood grain in my 
photographs and stuff. So I just in love, in love. Here's a little pocket again, stitched and with the lace. And then there's this little envelope with the washi. Isn't that great? Love it. I love it. Oh, this side opens up too. I didn't even know that. You don't even have to open it, guys. It's right there. Oh, I feel silly now. And then a little another pocket. Choose to shine. Isn't that gorgeous? With Those are my colors right there. Peach and teal. Oh, love it. My heart just did a little dance. Love it. And then again, I absolutely love how she did this paper. I love it. Now, I'm not sure which paper, but I got saw her on Instagram one night. She posted her, that her son and her were dyeing paper, and I don't know which paper it was, if or even if it's in here. I thought it was. I really like these pockets. Isn't that great? And then a doily. Beautiful paper. Little piece of vellum. I love that. And then a little clip. And I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? And a little envelope. This might have been the paper they were dying, actually. I bet it was. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Isn't that pretty? A little pocket. And then another envelope. It's so pretty. I love how it glitters. I love that paper. Wow. Another little pocket. And then there's the other part of that envelope. And it opens up right here. Isn't that great, guys? And then another little sleeve right here to, to stick a little something. Isn't that fantastic? Again, check out the stitching. I, she shows this all the time on her when she's showing the books. But I absolutely love this little leaf pattern right here. Can you see it? Well, probably not. Can you see it now? It's just so pretty. I love it. Look at that. Another piece of vellum. I just love that vellum look over the wood. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. And then a little pocket. Two pockets. Actually, this has been sewn into two pockets. With little journaling cards. Oh, I love that. You are on point. So cute. Isn't that pretty? And then another doily. So all of these little things are places for you to either write or put cards or put a memorabilia. I always say that wrong. Another little journaling card. And do you see how the whole book just flows together? That is gorgeous too. Absolutely pretty and I love, love, love the lace. Love it. Another piece of doily. A piece of... Um, Accounting paper is what I called it when I took accounting classes. Accounting paper and another little pocket made out of an envelope. And look at this paper. Super gorgeous, pretty. And again, matches over here. And I super love those too. They, these feel like rubber, guys. They have like a rubbery texture to them. Oh, I love that too. And here's some more of that paper. I love the paper. Love it. I think this is her hand. I'm pretty sure. I'm really 100% sure this is her um, her handmade or hand colored paper, her dyed paper that she does. And this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
this I'm going to save for my fall journal, my, my fall journaling page, this page right here. I already decided when I saw it the first time because you guys know I love fall and this is gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And then a couple of pieces of paper, notes, and another little pocket. Gosh, I'm sitting here thinking, how am I going to fill all this up? Another envelope. That's the other part to the envelope that we just saw opened on this end. And the other piece to the accounting paper. I don't know what I can't call them paper. Maybe it's what it's called. And then all of this is stitched together. All of it. Do you see that? This is stitched. The lace is back behind with a stitch. This is stitched. This piece is stitched. This is stitched. And then there's a beautiful little tag or a little thing to write on in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love flowers. I'm so into flowers right now. I'm planting them. I'm. This is gorgeous too. The whole gray and marbling is just beautiful. And then there's some more of the paper. So pretty. Then there's a sheet of music in here and I absolutely love this song. I don't know. I opened it up and I went, really? I love this song. I love, love, love it. So this is fantastic as well. There's a story about this song, but I'm not going to go into it right now. So it's just, it's very, it's very touching that it's in there because she would have no way to know that story. But I'm very much in love with that song being in there. And then here's the other page. And here's the back. And again, you know, it's all hard covered and it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous now I may not have the names of the little pages and everything because guys I don't do this I want to do it but I don't do it I just watch her do it so and then also on the bottom if you can see there are little tiny um, on the binding right here there are little tiny charms so there's a tree a leaf and a hummingbird and those are just gorgeous and they just kind of hang off the bottom of the binding to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of shimmer and just beauty when you look at it. And then of course I showed you my little bobble, my little thing right there. I love it. So that is the book, but that's not and that right there is more than enough. It's like that is that's all you need to do this. This is it. This is all you need. But she didn't stop there. And she doesn't stop there with all the books that she sells. So she threw in, she she also gave me some pages out of a magazine. And it's all about gardening. Now, I know that she follows me on my other social media, so I think that's how she knows that I love to plant flowers. I love to work in the garden, which is not a thing, which is something most people don't know because I don't like to get dirty. I don't like to get dirty. But she somehow figured it out. And she even stated that she knew that I liked to garden. So she sent she sent all of these little um, photographs and, and not just the photographs, the whole thing. You know, the words and everything I can use. So I just thought they were gorgeous. Not to mention, I'm practicing my watercoloring right now and uh, just having these to be a reference to look at is amazing. So I was wooing all over these already. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I really, really want to do that one first. I'm going to try to sketch this one out. Isn't that pretty? Oh. So there was that. And then there's this entire bag of goodies in here to be added on to my journal somewhere, to add into my journal. This is a lot of stuff, guys. And these are all things that she that all things that she thought would fit good with the journal. So she puts it together with things that would fit in the journal. So here's one little bag of goodies. I didn't look in these little bags yet, guys. Oh, oh, paper clips. Oh my gosh, so look. A little lace paper clip. A little fairy. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. It's gorgeous. A little fairy. Another little leaf. Another lace. And then a little bobble. I don't know what you guys call these little things, these little bobbles. Isn't that pretty? Another lace. Those are gorgeous. And the bag. You can use the bag. And these look like they're from a game piece, aren't they? What are these? 
the vintage years. Oh, that's gorgeous. I believe this is from a game. I remember playing this. That's awesome. Yeah, those are great. Look at this from a Rolodex. I love it. That's such a cute little journaling card. A flutter by. Look at the note paper. That's gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. I haven't seen one of those since I quit working. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome to put in a journal, right? And then a little bag. How cute is that for a little thing? Like we just cut Christian's hair. I'd love to put a little chunk of his hair in that. That's so that's so cute. Guest checks for when you go somewhere, come back from a trip, you can write on there what you did and put I put it in the book. That's such a great idea that she includes that. So we don't have to go out and hunt for it. Let's celebrate. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of these. Look at that. Make great things happen. I love that. You're my favorite. Just start. That's the front of my book says. Did you guys notice that? That's what it says on the front of the book is just start. And I think that is so fitting. I really thought that that was so fitting because she knew I had never made one before and I wanted to. I just think that that, I just think that is amazing. I love it. Just start. Be lovely. Let's celebrate. Isn't that pretty? They all, these all are beautiful. Great little cards for journaling. It's just gonna make the book even more special to have little things like this. Be the change you want to see in the world. I love that. Do what you love and love what you do. I love that. Start and don't stop. I love that. I need to stick that in my gym bag. <laughs> Hello today. I love that. I love these. Those are pretty. I've seen those before. Aww. So pretty. And then there are some bigger ones. Is that not fabulous? And they're such a great size for journaling, for writing. I just think that is fantastic. They all match the papers that are already in the book. That's fabulous. I love the birds. Oh, wow. That would be interesting to journal on. Wow. I had never thought of that. What a great idea. Yeah, I was going to say, this is what I would do with something like this. I would color the paper. That's amazing. That's exactly what I would do with this paper. I can't wait. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I love how she added that. See? So just as I was sitting here thinking, how could I use this? I think I could color it. Look, there it is already done. See what I'm saying? She thinks of, this is, this is the card that she sent me. I've already read the card. Um... like a uh, sales slip. That's what these are, sales slip. Those are cute. And then some big index cards. I, when I saw this, I giggled. I just giggled my heart out. That is so cute. So adorable. And here's another big piece of the paper that they've dyed. I know I saw her um, doing a live video on, you, on um, Instagram, I think, and it was her and her son was dyeing the paper. And it just feels like it's all old timey, like it's like it's a hundred year old paper. It's so beautiful. I love this, the repair tags and the claim tags, and then the little vellum envelopes. Those are so adorable. A couple of doilies, and another piece to the um, credit limit credit rating. Wow. This is from the this is from a bank actually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and the bags, aren't they adorable? Oh wow, a time card. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done that too. But how cute is that? Guys, seriously. 
That is adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Who would have thought? Another piece of that same paper that she has in there. A little tag. That's adorable. How cute is that, really? Think about it. Do I could distress this up a little bit and those important phone calls that you get, you know, like when your child calls and tells you that they're pregnant again or something, you know? I mean, yeah, that's super, super adorable. Wow, it's another library card with the months and the days on it. I actually like that quite a bit. A repair tag, another little envelope. I love the colors of that. And look at this, name, address, and phone number. It's a little sheet with address and phone numbers on it. Beautiful. Another little calendar. Love that. Another little bag. And then here's a little postcard that's been hand stitched. How pretty is that? Love it. Or, or sewing machine stitched. You know what I mean. Another. Oh, this is an envelope, but this envelope has been hand dyed as well. How beautiful is that? Look at that. That's pretty. That's actually very pretty. And then these. This is a bag of laces to go with it. Okay. All right. So here's the little. Um, here's the bag. Super pretty little pieces of triangles of fabric some more little baubles oh yay and then this lace which is amazing but also some of this lace I could use to make the little pieces that hang off the bobble right yeah I'm sure I'm sure I've seen these in hers I'm gonna have to go back and watch a video so pretty <gasps> look at that one so 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 pretty that's a lot of lace guys that's a lot of lace and then there's this little book of tags or this little envelope of tags oh wow tags and tabs so these are tabs. How awesome is that? She throws in the tabs and then the little, I love you to the moon and back. My idea of agreeable person is a person who agrees with me. I agree with that. I love those. Absolutely love those. And then here are the little tags that you can stick in there with little things. Aren't they gorgeous already with the twine on them? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So you get all of this stuff extra she and I know she does this for everybody I've seen I've watched her and I've gone over to her Etsy shop you when you order the book she throws in all these little extra bits and bobs to go with it over on her Etsy shop so as if the book wasn't enough because it really is this book is more than enough to get you started absolutely but then you have all those extra pieces to personalize it and add to it and make it yours yet they all go great with what she's given you right I am amazed. I cannot thank her enough. Again, her over on Instagram and on YouTube, it is I'm a cool mom. The all the O's in there are actually zero. So it's I'm a cool mom with zeros instead of O's. It's the same way on Instagram. And I don't know how she is on Facebook. I don't remember. I know she's on Facebook, but I don't remember. And her, and her Etsy shop I'll have put below along with all the links. And her name is Jessica. And I don't want to say her last name because I don't know whether she gives it or not. She has two different YouTube channels, guys. Um, one is I'm a, the I'm a Cool Mom. And the other one is We're a Cool Family, I think. And on the other channel, she kind of um, is a little more personal and talks to you about what's going on in her life and things and um, shares some of her family stuff and talks about her son and just different things like that and on the I'm a cool mom channel she talks about all her junk journals all of her um, art that she does and all of her shop with me videos and hauls and Tuesday mornings and Michaels and Joann's and 
um, all of those places. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Dollar Tree from her as well. I'm pretty sure, I think. But I know Michael's. She's at Michael's um, all the time and Joanne's and Tuesday morning. And um, she does a lot of live streaming videos, which I'm crazy about. So I just wanted to come on and, and do a proper review of this. I personally think this is a wonderful, wonderful book. And um, I, I, I am... I feel so blessed to own it, to own a piece of her artwork and to um, have something this gorgeous to start my very first junk journal. So um, I hope you go over and visit her web pages, visit her Etsy shop. And if you're in the market to buy a junk journal, um, I don't think you can go wrong. She, she makes them custom made as well, I know. So you can always look into that avenue. And um, I just thank her for the bottom of my heart because this is gorgeous and I am so happy to own it. Thank you guys for watching. I will have all of her information below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.